live from Chile Publish booth here at Printing United in Dallas. We just saw an amazing presentation from one of uh, Chili Publish's customers uh, where they were showcasing how to use Chili Publish in creating photo books. Um, and I'm here again with Fabian. Uh, they have more employees, but he seems to be the only one that wants to talk to me. Is that right? That's right. I love you, Morton. You know that. I love you too. <laughs> well, uh, Fabian, um, we have been talking about a lot of different uh, subjects during this uh, couple of hours that we almost 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 been together. Um, the go-to strategy or the go-to market. How how do you actually approach the market? We have outbound marketing activities and inbound marketing activities. So obviously on our website we uh, we publish a lot of content. We have blog posts, we have video posts, we have white papers, uh, e-blogs. So. Uh, trying to give customers a lot of data, a lot of information, which they can, you know, visualize, download, uh, profit from, and then obviously we have a connection with them, right? So we can approach them. Um, trade shows is only one part of it, and and uh, it's a lot of uh, uh, word of mouth, basically. A lot of customers are using Chili. They tell other customers or prospects about it, and they come and see us. So it's it's a yeah, it's a mix of different things. I remember uh, we went to uh, Chil uh, Spicy Talk uh, in uh, Amsterdam last year, and one of the things that I wouldn't say it surprised me, but it was a positive surprise in the sense that uh, a lot of your customers that act they actually stand out and talk about your products and services, not just in a in a close community like Spicy Talks, but also to the market. Not even like testimonials; they just appreciate your software a lot. Uh, how do you get that kind of uh, community-driven uh, passion for your products? Well, customer satisfaction is obviously very important. And everything we do, we have in mind the customer needs to be happy, the customer needs to be satisfied with our product. Because we don't, we don't know that it's a natural step for customers to, to, to talk about it. Um, also keep in mind that we're in an industry that's not necessarily easy or, or growing uh, over all the front. So, I think people realize that we have to help each other out, and, and we realize we realize that all too well at Chile Publish as well that it's our duty to to help printers become more profitable, to increase their margins, uh, because many of them are not in a such an easy spot right now. I also remember from uh, from uh, the spicy talk in Amsterdam that that um, uh, you uh, I can't remember who presented it, but. Uh, doesn't matter, but uh, that you, you spoke about different levels of uh, partnerships because you have obviously different partners. Some are integration partners, some are uh, users, some are different kind of, of stakeholders in, in that value chain. Um, is that still something that you are doing? It's crucial for us. We, we are, um, in first instance, a software vendor. So we're a technology supplier, but we, we do rely heavily on integration partners to take our software and integrate it within the workflow environment of a customer or connect it to an MIS system, a DAM system, a PIM solution. So we need those people uh, since we're not a, a services company. So um, to understand it correctly, does it mean that uh, you spend a lot of time and energy and money obviously on, on marketing of Chile? Um, so your integration partners, do they also market your products and service directly or are they relying very much on your efforts to go to market? Both. Many of our partners uh, reference us on their website and uh, will do a lot of marketing efforts, you know, uh, will represent us at their own local trade shows or events uh, with a Chile background, a Chile messaging and everything. So it's, uh, it's really uh, a tight collaboration that we seek with our uh, partners. So that means that if I am a, a potential customer from some country and I go to a local trade show and talk to your representative, you will be involved in that process at some point? Absolutely. Um, our integration partners, obviously, they have the ability to represent us, to be the face of Chile Publish, but they also know that we are there to back them up and they can rely on us if they need us. Um, one of the things I'm curious about, because I guess with all types of products and services, also including software, there, there can be some obstacles in, in not just in the customer relationship, but also uh, maybe different expectations for a solution. Is that something you experience? Expectations have to be managed from the get-go. That's why we do uh, we do a lot of upfront demos and we do a whole lot of uh, proof of concepts. That's typically a phase that a customer or prospect goes through before you know uh, purchasing the solution. They want to make sure that what we have and the features that we have uh, meet their needs, and that's that's why the uh, proof of concepts are so important for us. And the proof of concept that basically means understanding the business case in details from the customer side, so you know before you even or maybe in the in the quotation process actually have as, as much knowledge as possible in order to give the right quote, right? Yep, so there's a knowledge capturing step. Then we use the files that uh, are given to us by the customer itself. We will process them with Chile Publisher. 
But then also, more importantly, we will let them uh, test the software for a given period of time, depending on the agreement. Could be 30 days, could be 60 days, 45 days, whatever. And at the end of that period, typically they will know very well if Chile Publisher is the right fit for them or not. One of the things that I was also a bit surprised about when, when I was at that spicy talk that I mentioned before is, uh, you know, when it's such a complex software that can do so many things, to some extent I thought that maybe your type of customers were like large companies, but you have one-person companies here in the U.S. that are doing extremely much work for, for, for Chile. So is there any limitations on how big you should be before you can start? No, using no, no, we have uh, uh, very small printers. We actually have print companies that are run by two people, basically, and they use Chile Publisher uh, because they see the value in, for instance, um, allowing their customers to work with our technology as well. So they use Chile Publisher as a web storefront, uh, give access to their customers or their suppliers to work with it, uh, but just, just this company that I have in mind, there's only two people, so that's how small it can get. And uh, a company like that, I mean, uh, I don't know the pricing of, of your of your solutions, but is it is it like a, uh, is, I mean I guess that one thing is the license and, and or however you work it, but uh, the integration part and the implementation part might be the thing that differentiates depending on how much you're integrated into different systems. But do you say are you saying that the solutions that you offer can be uh, for almost any size company, also from a financial 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 perspective? Uh, that's right. Um, from an integration point of view, many customers will do the integration themselves. If not, we have partners, but we don't really get involved in that. That's really between the end customer and the partner. Uh, the software itself is subscription-based only. And the nice part is, is that many of our customers repurpose the software and, and charge their own customers to use the platform. So basically, in many cases, the subscription that they pay is paid for by their own customers because the cost is transferred downstream. So that means that uh, if you have the right business idea and you have the right kind of application, it can be a money-making machine for the printing companies Absolutely. pretty easy. Absolutely, and that's, that's where the positive ROI lies for us, right? So our software enables our customers to make more money. So when, when um, again, it, it, it turns a little bit back to, to one of our first interviews today, was that when you have a software that is... Uh, seems so scalable and it seems so obvious that you can make money on it and things like that. Uh, still, uh, I guess your market share is not 100%. So <laughs> how, how, how do you, I mean, uh, you explained your go-to-market thing, but uh, without jeopardizing or challenging uh, how, how good you're doing it, I'm just saying that the potential is so big, so it must be also by identifying some low-hanging fruits in order to figure out how can we grow as fast as possible, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the potential is, is simply enormous, especially when you consider how much manual work people are still putting into artwork creation or editing the, the artwork files. Uh, just to give you one example, I had a printer come by. They generate artwork for a brand owner. That's all they do, right? So, But they have so much artwork to generate and different flavors of a typical file that they were looking at uh, hiring two more graphic artists until they saw Chile Publisher because then they realized they could do all of that in an automatic way. So they decided at the end of the day to stick with one graphic artist within the company and let the rest be done by Chile Publisher and, and saving a lot of money for themselves. And I guess that when you, when you, when you tell a story like that, that is actually a, a, an example to learn from because I guess that a lot of printing companies have downscaled in the production and maybe even uh, downsized and, and realized now that they get a lot of more jobs uh, because the print run is falling and that, that requires a level of automation and I, that is where Chile Publisher comes in as a tool that can enable you to create more with less people. Absolutely, that's, that's our main value proposition, right? Being able to process a lot more work a lot faster with the same amount of people that you have today. And uh, soon we're going to meet each other again in Berlin. You are going to do a new uh, spicy talk. That's right. Um, what can we expect from there? November 6th and 7th in Berlin, two days packed with um, information sharing, experiences sharing, demonstrations from customers, talking about the value propositions, talking about the new features that are coming up in our products. So definitely, absolutely worth to be there. I look very much forward to go there, and I would like to thank you very much for the opportunity to be publishing from your, broadcasting from your uh, booth today. So cool to meet you again. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Morton. You're welcome.